Hello, my friends. Last week, we talked about Mula Bandha, how you want to lift your pelvic floor up and in like you're trying not to pee when you practice Kundalini Yoga. Today, I wanted to talk a little bit about Uddiyana Bandha as a way that you can further usher up this Kundalini energy along the highway of your spine. Remember, our goal is to lift this energy up into the third eye and the brain. Every time we finish an exercise in today's class, think of your navel, your belly button, flying up underneath your ribs as you also engage the pelvic floor, just like you'd squeeze that last bit of toothpaste up out of a tube. This is what we're trying to do with these bandhas or body locks at the end of each exercise, to lift our storehouse of kundalini energy that lives at the base of our body up. Let's give it a try and get started. Let's tune in with Ong Namo Guru Dev Namo just once. You can always listen or join. Rub the palms together. Press the thumbs into the sternum. Lift the sternum to meet the thumbs. Exhale all the breath out of the body. Take a deep breath in. Ong. Guru Dev Namo. Inhale deeply. Pause, suspend the breath. Lift the pelvic floor, lift the navel. Even with your eyes closed, lift the gaze. Hold the breath in as long as you can. Exhale as you need to. Palms face down on the knees or thighs. The shoulders get heavy. Invite your breath to deepen. Just take a moment to open this sacred space of your practice. And then inhale, lean to the left, rock the torso forward, exhale, kind of lean back on your sits bones. It was like you were punched in the belly and start making these circles with the spine. It's like your pelvis is a bowl and your spinal columns, this beautiful spoon just scraping all the sides. As you come forward, you can mentally think to yourself, Sat. As you breathe in, as you roll back on the sits bones, mentally think nam as you breathe out. In reverse directions. Let this feel good down into the hips. And then gently find center, sit up nice and tall, turn the palms up, roll the shoulders. So lift the shoulders up, down and back, up, down and back. And then think of really moving from the elbows here. Mm, should feel juicy and good. Lift the elbows. Think of lifting the whole diaphragm up and then reverse this, go the other way. So shoulders go down, around, and forward. Beautiful. A little bit of a dynamic movement. It's easy once you get the hang of it here. So you're going to take the elbows back. Inhale, exhale, they cross. Inhale, take them back. Exhale, throw all the worries in your life up over your head behind you. So it's going to look like this. Join me if you haven't. Really freeing for the shoulders. And if you want, you can add a mantra to this. So the next time, elbows back, sa, 
ta na ma sa ta na ma sa ta na ma sa ta na ma you can think this or chant it aloud sa ta na ma sa ta na ma use it to focus and anchor your attention good last couple sa ta na ma sa ta na ma sa ta na ma sa ta na ma inhale deeply palms face up on the thighs hold suspend the breath in so again lift the pelvic floor feel your sits bones narrowing towards one another navel lifting chest puffs out chin dips feel the energy squeezing up your spine like toothpaste in a tube when you need to of course exhale notice the effect on the energy in and around your body maybe just after these first really brief exercises you feel more spaciousness feel lighter brighter just pause and take note and then come to lie down on your back so the kundalini practice really <laughs> reveres the navel and core work is essential to activating our, our highest potential since so many of our nadis, uh, meridian points, originate and cross at this navel center. So pull the knees into the chest and have the arms out in a T-shape. Stretch the legs and see where for you today you feel your abs engage. Is it at 90 or 45? For some of you, it might be 30. Keep pulling the sides of the waist down so you don't want any arch in the low back off the floor or as little as you can. So once you find the angle that's right for you, this is going to be your inhale position. And then exhale, you're going to reach the fingertips forward and pull the nose towards the ears, uh, pull the nose towards the knees. So inhale. Exhale, pull nose to knees, reach the fingers forward. Breathing in. You control how deep the ab work goes with the angle of your legs. Keep pulling the sides of the waist down, finding this on your own. Breathing in, T-shape arms. Exhale, pulling the knees in and the nose up. So see if you can challenge yourself here and even just in the short time we have together, get the abs to kind of quiver and shake and taking the heels lower to the ground will make this harder. But again, you wanna find that sweet spot where the sides of the waist are actively pulling down towards the ground and there's no strain in the low back. Last couple. Good, last one. Next time I want you to just open the arms and hold. So hold the legs at that <laughs> angle. Whew, feel the abs shake, 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 shake. Keep holding. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ah, oh, okay, relax. Mm. Notice that heat that pure, raw energy you've generated at the navel. And draw one knee and then the other into the chest. Rock and roll on the spine. Let's get that energy moving a little bit more. So rock and roll so you come back to your comfortable seat. And we'll close with one of my very favorite little moves here. So palms up and you're just going to press away from you. So the motion's going to look like this and we're going to add uh, kind of like a breath of fire, but it's through the O of the mouth. So it's going to look like this. Join me if you haven't already. So each time you do this, 
I want your navel to snap back towards the spine. So your pelvic floor, lower body needs to be engaged here to give you stability since you're moving the torso quite rapidly. So create that stability for yourself in the pelvis as you move. This is why we needed the core work first, to keep the lower body and core engaged. And then you are just pressing everything you do not need away from you, chopping through your blocks and obstacles. Eyes are closed, gaze at the third eye, the pituitary point. And work up a little sweat here. We are not here for long, so give it your everything. Forcing the exhale out from the navel. Last five, four, three, two, one. Make fists, pull both elbows in. Hold, squeeze. Squeeze the pelvic floor, squeeze the fist, squeeze the face, squeeze the whole body till it shakes. So you're really solidifying the energy inside. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And then when you need to, let it go. Let the breath rebound. Maybe feeling this illuminated quality to the energy as it settles and adjusts. You'll notice the energy body is still moving. And stay here, stay here, sit, meditate. Stay in this spacious awareness for as long as you can. If you have to move on, hands to prayer. Otherwise, just listen and receive this satnam. Deep breath in. Satnam. From my heart to yours, namaste.